This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. More about that in a bit. TF2's jumper weapons are a pretty cool addition to the game. Their intended function is to serve as a way to practice one of the hardest to master mechanics in the game, letting you get the movement down first without having to worry about managing your health and ammo. But even for experienced players, they provide an extremely high mobility alternative to what you'd normally use, letting you mix up your play styles in ways that can be extremely fun. I mean, hell, look how big the infamous Trolger loadout has become. It's clear that these weapons are at least fun additions to the game, even if there are better ways to learn the basics. But as of now, they only exist on two classes, replacing the soldier's rocket launcher and demo man's sticky bomb launcher respectively. But what if this wasn't the case? What if every class had a tool that improved their mobility and let them access more parts of the map? Or alternatively, what if you had a tool that improved your security and gave you access to more parts of the internet? Why, that sounds like today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, or a tool that encrypts your internet data and allows you to change your device's virtual location to any part of the world. No longer will you have to sticky jump from two fort to Sweden to watch your favorite anime. Just press a button to connect to the Surfshark server, and as far as your streaming service knows, it's like you're really there. Also, have you ever been sitting at your local McDonald's watching weapon reskins for the 17th time when suddenly, because you are connected to their public Wi-Fi, a hacker dressed suspiciously like the spy crawls out of your iPad and steals your wallet off the table? Well, I mean, no, probably not, but that's because getting your personal information stolen is never something that's obvious. With Surfshark, though, your internet traffic is completely encrypted, meaning that all the information coming from your devices is completely unreadable to the goobers who want to steal it. If unblocking regional content and not getting hacked in public areas sounds like something you could benefit from, go to the link in the description and use code GREATBLUE to get 83% off with three free months to boot. And if you try it for a month and decide you don't like it, it's incredibly easy to cancel and get a full refund for your first 30 days, completely risk-free. So once again, check out the link below. It's a useful service and helps support the channel. So anyway, today's wacky scenario is what if every class in the game had a jumper alternative to one of their normal weapons? Which weapons would act as the template and how would the jumper weapons work in comparison? This could go in any number of directions, so to keep things then I wanted to find the three attributes that I believe make up a jumper weapon. Number one, it should be closely based on the design of an existing weapon. It doesn't have to be identical, but as a rule, skill with one should directly translate to skill with the other. Number two, it should do zero damage to both yourself and anyone you shoot. There are some other stats that the existing jumpers have that I may port over, but this one is a requirement. And number three, it should increase the class's vertical mobility in one way or another. They are called jumper weapons, after all, so having them assist some form of jumping would make the most sense. I will try as hard as I can to base each jumper weapon on some sort of existing movement tech for their respective class, but some classes like Heavy and Sniper don't exactly have any vertical movement tech, so eventually we will have to get a bit creative. So them's the criteria that I'll be attempting to stick to for each new weapon I design. And just for the sake of completion, I'll be giving both Soldier and Demo a second jumper weapon, so that way each class can get something new to play with. So let's start with the most practical weapons that would actually be good additions to the game and work our way down to the weird ones. Starting us off, Pyro is hands down the most obvious choice to get a jumper weapon, because like Soldier and Demo, he already has a weapon in his kit that lets him boost himself with explosions. The detonator not only has has a very high skill ceiling for explosive jumping, but it also takes away a pretty good batch of your health per jump, meaning that a zero damage alternative would be a legitimately useful tool. In my experience, detonator jumping is tricky to get the hang of because there are a lot of factors that influence the distance and direction of each jump. It feels like you can do very similar things twice in a row and get wildly different results, which means that like rockets and stickies, practice is required to get even decent results with this weapon. So it is of my opinion that if any weapon in the game were to get a jumper alternative, the detonator is by far the best pick. So let's go ahead and design the jumper version of the detonator which I'm going to be dubbing as the Flare Jumper because it sounds better than the Detonator Jumper. Because of how good the Detonator is as a template, we really don't need to do that much legwork for the spinoff. Take the mobility stats, delete the damaging ones, and there you go, new weapon. The biggest problem I can see this creating is that half of what makes the Detonator so good is its consistent long-range damage, and without that, I'd imagine that the Flare Jumper would not be very conventionally good. So just to make things a bit more smooth for the user, I'm also opting to add a deploy and holster speed bonus to emphasize the quick bursts of movement that it would likely be used for. And beyond saying that I would actually love to have this weapon in the game, that's really it. The flare jumper would be a great halfway between the thermal thruster and the detonator, letting you do quick and versatile movement for free, but at the expense of your mid-range damage. You're not going as far as a jetpack charge with each jump, but you can do them quickly and repeatedly, which could easily lead to a more mobility-based play style that Pyro could certainly benefit from. And, as mentioned, this would actually be a great way to practice tech that would directly carry over to the quote-unquote real thing. So, yeah, add the detonator jumper. It would be a great addition for Pyro. Engineer is another class who has underexplored movement tech, with the Wrangler providing two different ways to ascend the map provided you have a sentry available. Both blast jumping with the rockets and boosting with the bullets are beneficial yet costly ways to move around as engineer, so a weapon that lets you do it for free would naturally fit the class. Unlike the detonator though, there's not as much utility in performing sentry jumps. It's great for getting to higher places you otherwise wouldn't be able to reach as engineer, but it's hardly what I would call dynamic movement. You have to set up an entire building before you can perform a jump, it takes away half your health, and most of the time you only have to do it once because you'll end up building a teleporter wherever you land. But regardless, there are certainly ways to make a Wrangler jumper work. Similar 
of the detonator, the Wrangler provides a great base for the jumper version since all the tech is packed into the weapon itself. The only thing we'd have to change is the sentry damage, which would obviously go to zero and maybe remove the ammo consumption while wrangled just as a bonus. Keep the damage reducing shield just to give this some proper utility outside of its movement gimmick and voila, a new engineer weapon is born. Wrangler jumping is a bit finicky, so at first I wasn't sure how well this would end up performing, but considering how few secondaries engineer has to work with, I do think this would be a benefit to his kit. While you don't do it that often, there are several more vertical maps that lend themselves super well to Wrangler jumping. Plus, you can also do the Uncle Dane thing where you dive bomb someone with a wrench and hope to get a random crit, so at the very least you do have some meme play styles opened up. Either way, as long as it gives Engineer another secondary, I'd be all for something like this being added to the game. As I mentioned at the beginning, both Soldier and Demo will be getting something new for the video just to round things out. I was originally thinking that this would be challenging and that we'd have to resort to weird gimmick weapons to get anything original, but as it turns out, both of them have an alternative way to explosive jump that I actually think would make for a great jumper weapon. The loose cannon and Beggar's Bazooka effectively let you do mid-air jumps of time correctly, giving you a significantly different form of mobility than the stock weapons they replace. The issue with this form of movement, though, is that the skill floor is rather high, since the inputs required to pull off said mid-air jumps are precise and the damage you take is quite a bit. Soldier can negate this a little bit with the gun boats, but Demo Man really only gets a single cannon jump before he has to get a health pack. So, even though Soldier and Demo already have a jumper weapon, I think doubling up is the way to go. I consider what I'm calling the cannon jumper to be the more necessitated of the two, since on top of the things I already mentioned, it takes up a completely different weapon slot. Would this let Demo equip an extremely high mobility weapon in both his primary and secondary slots? Yeah. That, that's the end of the sentence. It would be extremely fun and I wish it was in the game. For the stats, the only thing I'm setting to zero is obviously the damage. Allowing this to do knockback to enemies would admittedly be hilarious, even if a bit annoying to play against at times. I will at least have to pull out the cannot cap intel stat for the cannon jumper though, since I'm pretty sure you can clear the entirety of double cross on a single jump. There's a reason these stats exist in the first place. Capture the flag goes rather quickly without them. As for the beggar's bazooka jumper, which I'll be calling the dumpster jumper based on its item set name, I'm not going to do anything too special. I'll at least remove the accuracy penalty to make trick jumping a little bit easier, but the beggar's bazooka is nearly perfect as a template, no need to reinvent the wheel here. Port over all the other stats from the rocket jumper, and there you have it, a super nice side grade of the rocket jumper that trades speed for tech. While I admit that giving soldier and demo a second jumper weapon would be overkill in a lot of ways, I really do think that these specific jumpers would benefit the classes they're on. Soldier probably wouldn't miss a side grade of the rocket jumper too much, but demo having the option to equip a jumper in his primary slot would be super cool and would add a lot of flexibility to the rest of the class. Overall, I'd opt for both to be added if given the choice. So this is where the list takes a turn for the gimmicky, with none of the remaining classes having vertical movement tech that they can use on command. That being said, that doesn't necessarily mean they don't have any vertical movement tech at all. Medic, for instance, does actually have a weapon that lets him fly around the map with ease. The only caveat is that you have to be latched onto a teammate who's actually doing the jumping, and you kind of have to follow him around without much input in the matter. Still though, proper aerial movement with a quick fix is a hard thing to master, and you could definitely make a case for why a weapon like this could use a practice version to go along with it. The hardest thing about a jumper based on the quick fix is how exactly we'd end up balancing it to fit the rest of the jumper weapons. Mediguns already don't do any damage, so we can't remove that, and if we remove the healing from a medigun, it would be nearly worthless to use. And then there's the issue where the entirety of the quick fix's movement comes from teammates, so we'd somehow have to allow Medic to do that same movement on his own in an ideal circumstance. So I thought about this for a while, and the way that I decided to solve this problem is by replacing Uber with the ability to simulate teammates' movement tech on command at the cost of a resource. For the low price of 25% of your now non-functioning Uber, you can either simulate a rocket jump by pressing alt fire or a demo man shield charge by pressing reload. Not only does this give you loads more mobility on command, it also allows you to practice one of the weirdest forms of movement in the entire game, so either way I think it would make the weapon worth using. I also decided to deviate from the normal naming scheme and call this the fixer upper instead of the quick fix jumper, partially because there's no way to make the normal version sound good, but mainly because I like the pun. But yeah, the only things I changed from the quick fix are replacing its uber with the new movement options and shuffling around the numbers a bit to make it favor mobility more than healing. You may be thinking that this is a bit too out there for what a jumper weapon should should be, and while I would agree on a surface level, it does satisfy the criteria I said at the beginning. It helps medic practice a tech, it strips an offensive function in favor of vertical mobility, and the weapon has orange on it. What more could you want? So overall a solid weapon concept, even if a bit unorthodox. Scout has two major movement techs that we could take advantage of, but the problem is that unlike explosive jumping, both of them are completely free to begin with. Force and nature jumping costs nothing to the user but ammo, and double jumping is, well, not the hardest thing in the world to say the least. Both are very important things to practice if you plan on doing well with Scout. Don't
don't get me wrong, but there aren't any immediately obvious trade-offs that we could give to a jumper version to make it worth the switch. So what if instead of trading off literal damage, we traded off the opportunity cost of damage instead by making the jumper weapon a soda can? And what if that soda can increased your general mobility for a while instead of giving you the offensive or defensive buffs its counterparts do? This definitely leans hard into the brand new weapon territory, but for Scout specifically, I think it's the best way to handle something like this. Scout as a class is designed around having high passive mobility instead of requiring you to move in burst, so something that increases your passive movement in exchange for not having a damaging secondary fits the spirit of a jumper weapon well in my opinion. I think for a weapon like this, simpler is generally better. The stats I'll give it are a 15% movement speed buff and two extra double jumps every time you drink it, pretty straightforward. I don't think this would make an amazing weapon on its own, so just to give it more of a use case, I'll also speed up the drinking animation and make it recharge marginally faster. Again, all of Scout's mobility is completely free and built into the class itself rather than a weapon, so outside of doing something like this, I don't think there are many great ways to implement a jumper weapon without it being a complete meme. So now we have actually gone through every class with movement tech and have begun to scrape the bottom of the sponge. Heavy, Sniper, and Spy have zero ways to increase their vertical mobility in any capacity outside of waiting for enemies to damage them or something like that. Wait, there actually is a spy tech based around that. It is a very niche skill to learn, and outside of getting a clip for your spy montage, it has next to no practical use. But one of the most satisfying maneuvers to pull off is spy is surfing an enemy's rocket, air strafing behind them, and stabbing him before you hit the ground. The problem with actually landing this, though, is that you're completely reliant on the enemy soldier shooting you in a specific way to even attempt to pull this off, and that's assuming you have even enough health to survive the rocket in the first place. So, what if there was an alternate version of one of spy's weapons that let you simulate a rocket surf on command? The Dead Ringer jump Jumper, which I'll be renaming to the Grave Jumper because it sounds a lot cooler, would be loosely based on the Dead Ringer as the name would suggest. You'd still get the invisibility and speed boost as normal, as well as the technical stats that come with the Dead Ringer normally. But instead of a damage resistance and cloak whenever you get hit, the feign triggers instantly as you're immediately and violently launched into the air at about a 60 degree angle. Similar enough to what you'd expect in a real life scenario, but not enough to propel you across the entire map. If nothing else, this would allow you to have a mobility center cloak watch at the expense of, well, cloaking, which could benefit Spy on more vertical maps, I suppose. Heavy is equally tricky because on top of not having any mobility tech, he doesn't even really have any tech at all, so training weapons of any sort would be difficult to design. If I was allowed to do literally whatever I wanted, I'd probably just give him a minigun that has the force of nature knockback effect on the target and the shooter. This would let him simulate jetpack joyride in TF2, I guess, but it does fundamentally break a rule that I set in the video, so I don't want to fully flesh that idea out. And for sniper, yeah, I've got nothing. The only thing I could feasibly think to make is a weapon that works like his melees in Saxton Hale, where hitting a wall lets you climb it in exchange for dealing no damage. At least Scout's new weapon expanded his existing mobility. This would just let Sniper do something completely out of left field. So because I value quality over quantity, I'm not going to be giving Sniper Heavy a new weapon. So anyway, that's the best way I think each class could be given a new jumper weapon. The training weapons are a super cool idea, and even though they aren't the most practical, I could definitely see them being used more if they didn't replace the most important weapon slots. Even though they're meant for practice, I do still think they should be good weapons, so hopefully the ideas in this video accomplish that goal on top of being interesting. If you have any ideas to refine my weapon concepts or concepts that you think would be better, please let me know. I'm always open to feedback on my ideas. And once again, thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring the video. It's a helpful product and it helps me keep the lights on, so I'm all for it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. If you hated this video, you should save your opinion until after you've beaten a Jump Academy advanced map, and most importantly, have a good one.